Hello and welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. If you're new, my name is Bella. I'm 16 years old and I live on a sailboat sailing the world with my family. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me. Welcome back. So I'm not on the boat right now. We are at our Airbnb, because our boat is on the hard stand, if you missed that last episode. That is what happened. We got hauled out and we are now land people. <laughs> no, not for long. We'll be back in the water soon enough, but yeah. Let's get into some boat work, land life, all that type of stuff. Good morning guys, it is seven o'clock in the morning and we are about to head down to the boat. It is day four of the boat being out on the hard stand and we are still sanding the bottom of the boat. So yeah, that is what we're gonna do. So let's go do some more sanding. And we are off. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. We have made it to the boatyard. Nothing to hold me back. It's our time. Just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good. just spent the last couple of hours Taj is scraping and I was wet sanding and using the electric sander to sand the hull and oh, it's like one o'clock so we're gonna head back for some lunch <laughs> The back. <laughs> Are you doing it all today? Yeah. Oh, it's hot, baby. It's hot. It's running. That was a work. So hot. The lunch is nearly ready. Having ravioli and some tomato sauce. Yeah. We came back and we had a lunch that mum had made, which was ravioli, which was delicious. And now we are heading back round two of sanding the hull. This is like the worst job. It just takes so long. Oh yeah. Alrighty guys, it's question time. It's that time where I answer one of your guys' questions. And the one that I've randomly chosen out today is how is the new sailboat working out for each family member? I don't know, let's go see. Alrighty mum, how is the new sailboat? Well, I love our new sailboat. We have a actual proper bed with a massive bedroom, our own bathroom with a shower inside. The kitchen is fantastic. There's so much space. I love our new boat. I'm really not going to like that footage, my darling. Oh, it's beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Dad, how are you liking your sabo? Better in the water when we're having fun, but on the hard, it's really hard work. But it's really good, apart from the hard work. So, Taj, how are you liking the new sabo? It's pretty awesome. All right. So yeah, everyone loves the boat. The boat is great. I have my own room. I love the boat. It's amazing. And um, yeah, I hope that answered your question. If any of you guys have any more questions, comment down below. 
and I'll answer it in a video. Let's get into the rest of the video. Alrighty, I've had enough showing boat works and filming just working on the bottom of the boat. So I'm gonna tell you a little story instead. I remember reading a comment a while back asking what is the worst thing that has ever happened or have I ever got hurt seriously and like living on a boat is that like sketchy, dangerous or whatever. So I'm going to tell you about the time that I got most injured living on a boat. So yeah, I've actually never really gotten that hurt. The worst thing that has probably happened is I split my nose open once. So let's talk about that. So um, on our old boat, when we were in Indonesia in Ambon, I thought it would be a smart idea to do try to do a backflip on the deck, not into the water, like on the deck, which I'd actually done before, like holding ropes. Not that keen, just doing it on the deck without ropes. Anyway, there were these two sheets that go off the sail, like just rope, but they're called sheets, sailing terms, but it's rope anyway. I was holding on to these ropes and I always did it and I just back flip or front flip holding onto these ropes. Anyway, it was our last night on Catalpa before we left because that's also another story how we left our boat in Indo and sailed back with our friends to Australia to then fly to America. Long story. <laughs> anyway, it was our last night on Catalpa 1. So I was like, oh, I better do my last little back flip that I always do. And it was like 10 o'clock at night and it was like raining a little bit. This has nothing to do with it. Anyway, I was pulling on the ropes and I was like a bit nervous to do it because I'm like, oh, the ropes are really loose. I should probably go tighten them. But then I was like, nah, it'll be all right. Then I just flinged myself into a backflip thinking that the ropes were tied off and they weren't. So I tucked and in the air as I was backflipping, I guess I just fell instead of the ropes catching me. Face first into the anchor winch. And yeah, I didn't really know what happened. It was dark, but I do know, I like hit my head and I was like, ooh, that was really loud. And so I went back, but I felt like my face was wet and I was like, oh no, what's, what's that? So I like cupped my hands. I was like, oh no, there's liquid coming out of my face. So I walked back into the cockpit where the light was and I looked down and there was just like a puddle of blood in my hands and everyone was downstairs. I kind of just like looked down the companionway and everyone's faces. It was pretty funny. Alrighty, I had to come inside because the camera just told me that the temperature is too hot for the camera. So I had to come into the aircon. So let's continue on with the story, shall we? I looked downstairs and everyone was kind of just sitting there and the look on their faces, they were not expecting to see me come down with a bloody face. I hit my forehead and like my whole face, so I didn't know what was bleeding. So that kind of scared me. I was like, oh gosh, I hope my face isn't messed up and I hope my nose isn't broken. Come down, belly, my face. nose is fine. Yeah, your nose you is fine. You get a big lump on your head yeah. and you're dribbling blood off your nose, but you've, you've, you've bank here. No, it's not going to be a lump, is it? No, no, you've got a lump on your head. It didn't really hurt too bad. I just really hoped that my nose wasn't broken. So yeah, what had happened was I had a big bruise on my forehead and I'd split my nose open and that's where the blood was coming from. What happened? Can we it get really some... doesn't hurt, but when I laugh and think about it, it like makes my eyes water. So um, I'm not crying by the way. It's okay. Bella, look at me, what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Just let Dad look at it, sweetheart. I don't want anything done to it. What, did you hit something? Hit the winch. Oh, sweetie. What were you doing? I don't know, is it really bad? Just no, tell me the bad. truth. it's not bad, Bella. I'm just, I don't Do want to, like, touch it. No, like, so, so get something I need just some, to clean, um, like, water. Like we were in Indonesia at the time, and I did not want to go to the hospital. I didn't want stitches. I didn't really want anyone to touch my face, so what ended up happening was Dad put some butterfly clips on and like just pushed it back together as best as he could and yeah. Yeah, one more. The way
way you're right. filming and everyone's like, telling me that it's fine. I feel like it's not. Like, like you, it's you could stitch it. Like, it is stitchable. I'm not, I'm not stitching gonna, it. No, I'm just going to say I'm not lying. It's not. It, it is stitchable. But I think it could be flappable, too, like with the butterfly. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, it'd be fine. Um, otherwise, it, otherwise, you could glue it. I don't think. Have we got butterfly stitches? I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw yeah. Okay, that one's good. Yeah, the thing is, I knew it was going to happen. Why did you do it? Just, just maybe it wouldn't. You didn't slip, slip on that. Did you slip on Your hand slip. I didn't even know what happened. Yeah. How are you feeling today? Great. You going to do some backflips? Yeah. You just got to tighten the rope next time. That was really the end of it. I was a bit worried there for a while because I had like a lump and like a big white scar and I was like... I've wrecked my face, <laughs> but I, it's fine. I can barely see it now. Maybe there's a little, there's a little scar, but it's not too bad. But I mean, out of nearly nine years sailing, very few, like no injuries really have happened, which is good. Touch wood. Oh no, there's no wood. One second. Okay, I just had to go touch some wood. Yeah, so not too much has gone bad. <laughs> when you live on a boat and you're out on the ocean or at remote places, you have to deal with it yourself. So yeah, we're pretty lucky. And that is probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me while we've been living on a sailboat. And it was my fault. So if you guys have any video suggestions or ideas or whatever you want to see, comment down below, because we are going to be on the hard stand for a month and I don't really feel like boring you guys with boat works for that long. So if you want to see anything I can tell some stories just comment down below of what you guys would like to see or want me to film. Alright. Alright guys thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye!